Hi guys, welcome back to another one from GBUS Outdoors. I've been out trying to fish, nothing's been connected, so I decided to do uh, a couple uh, little video, short videos here on uh, how to tie fluorocarbon to braid, if a lot of you guys like to use that, and uh, show you a couple other little things that might help you out on the water here in the upcoming out open water season, which has started in southern Alberta, some of Saskatchewan. Uh, it's going to be starting in Ontario pretty soon here for walleye and all that other stuff. And it's going to be starting here this weekend in northern Alberta. Southern Alberta is already open, so I hope you guys see this and I hope you guys find it informative. So stay tuned. We'll, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do a few things. Now one method guys don't really use out here, I've noticed. For fishing for walleye or even panfish, you can do get away with doing this for for perch as well. You just gotta match your size of hooks to uh, your your target species basically. So is drop shotting. Now drop shotting can be effective in rivers, it can be effective for sharp shooting out of a boat. And I'm gonna show you guys how to rig it up, and there's also a way if you if you don't have drop shot hooks like uh, I'll show you the guys this one right here is from VMC if I can ever get it out so this one's from VMC it's a little guy has a barrel swivel you attach your line on top attach your line to the bottom line runs down to these guys your weights and these weights just clip on so it's basically pretty simple but if you guys don't have these you everyone has place it basic bear hooks uh, I like keeping octopus hook and uh, kind of like a wide gap number eight in my tackle box at all times for this uh, so I'm gonna show you how to tie this one on to your fluorocarbon leaving a tag end so that way you guys can give this a shot, this little technique a shot this summer and maybe I'll do another video later on and how how to use it, when to use it kind of thing when you're targeting walleye or even perch they, it would work great for doing that too but you remember you gotta match your hook size to the species you're going after and the bait that you're using and then I'll also show you guys what kind of bait you can put on here uh, for instance like paddle tails or little worms and stuff like that so uh, Stay tuned and I'll, uh... as you guys can see, here's that braid uh, to fluorocarbon leader that I just tied up. And uh, you can just basically take this and now uh, we can rig up a drop shot, shot hook or you can tie on, uh, basically, you can tie on a jig to it too. But what we're going to do is we're going to rig this up for a drop shot hook. So you're going to put this through making sure your hooks facing up towards your braid that is the key okay now you can set this up leave your tag end however long you want if you want a four foot tag end because those fish are suspended then leave a four foot tag end so you can adjust your weight depth afterwards and then what you're going to do is you're going to take and make a loop on the back on the tag end side okay like so do is you just want to wrap it Take and wrap this hook around three to five times. Okay, so you'd go one, two, oh. hold on here, two, three. We'll just do three for the demonstration, but depends on your line size. Uh, right now this is only six pound fluorocarbon okay then obviously you would wait your wet your hook all your line and everything and then what you want to do is you want to pull that tight like so slowly till you get there about there and then you're gonna make sure
this all goes up and you want to pull it tight and you're not all caught up like I am right here it takes a little bit of practice and it's kind of hard for me to Do it in front of a camera lens for some reason today you can make fun of me all you want there we go so you want to make sure your knots nice and tight cinch it down right you got her as you can see right there now that hooks gonna be facing up in the water column so as you pull up towards your uh, braid right so there you go and all you have to see that how that little movement there Ooh, tantalizing then you're gonna take your drops shot weight and you're gonna go down to the end and this is a clip on it just snaps onto the line so basically all you're gonna do is feed it through to desired depth so if you want to go six inches off bottom well you can run this all the way up until you got six inches off bottom or you can go down to a foot four feet whatever however long you want your tag end to be snap that in now that weight isn't going anywhere so it's basically gonna look like like this right here so you got your weight and then you come down, there's your drop shot hook. As you can see, it's facing up. And then you'd hook your grub on, or whatever you want to use. Like, let's say I got a paddle tail here, and I'll throw that on real quick for you guys so you can see what it looks like. You can use a paddle tail, you can use a worm, leech, you live bait with this similar rig. But what I do is I just, little hook straight through the nose right there like so so when it's sitting down there in the water this will float and all you have to do is give it a little jiggle and that whole thing will start moving in the water right as you're doing that this will dance back and forth giving it lots of action looking like a swimming bait fish so that's one way one technique i like to use in the summertime I find that it works quite well, so hopefully you guys uh, give it a shot and see how it goes.